Uh, here we have a, a request from a, a piston manufacturer who wanted to measure the deformation of the head of the piston uh, under pressure. Now the pressure would be provided from underneath in the form of water pressure, but he wanted the actual face which meets the, uh, com the combustion when the, uh, the engine is ignited. He wants to see the forces that are acting on that face, uh, how they're represented uh, when pushed from the other side, if you like. And what we provided here is a three element strain gauge rosette, which will keep a, a measure of where the actual principal strain direction uh, is moving during the actual sequence of pressurization, and then gauges in positions specified by the customer, which are a certain distance from the edge of the piston to give them the, uh, uh, the what should we say, the, the, the pressure dome that will create as it gets pressurized from, uh, from beneath. Um, the actual gauges themselves are wired using a three core ribbon cable, which uh, Micro Measurements provides. And the gauges are, this is a CE age, uh, 125 UR, and we're using uh, a, a 125 AD, uh, normal EA strain gauge in this uh, situation. And here we have a fine enamel copper wire, 134 AW. So this piston was actually not used in service, of course, obviously, but it was actually pressurized, as I say, water pressurized from, be from below, uh, and that would actually make the, pressure, the piston go into a dome shaped if you can imagine that across the top of there, and the rosette is a primary measurer there because it's keeping an eye on what the principal strain direction or how it's changing during that process and how it relates then to the other four gauges which are on the surface of the piston. And they got the right information that they required for this and they went on to produce a different shaped uh, head to the actual piston. This, this is a flat face piston and you probably realize today you get pistons which are of many complicated shapes and sizes such as this, and they've changed their sort of texture and, and surface finishes on the, on the face of the piston which meets the combustion uh, from tests that were done like this. Uh, so th this is the sort of net outcome of what you get when you do a basic test initially to improve the design, if you like, of the piston face and how it behaves in the engine. So a success there and provided by the micro measurements uh, uh, bonding service.